Now for the abs, one of my favorite parts of the body to work. Everyone loves to have fantastic six pack abs, right? Well, I think you all know that a lot of the times six packs are made actually in the kitchen, but you can also help your abs and tone them by doing specific exercises. Now we're gonna show you two really simple exercises that people do often, but sometimes they don't do them right. And it's gonna be crunches and sit-ups, okay? So a crunch, as you guys know, is kind of like a half a sit-up. Um, Keith is going to demonstrate. You simply, this is the most important thing. What I notice a lot is people often pull on their necks. And when you pull your neck, it causes pain and discomfort. So you want to make sure when you put your arms behind your head that you actually rest your head in the palm of your hands. Just rest your head. Your head's not doing the work. Your abdominals are doing the work, okay? So you're going to, you can either keep your feet, your legs straight, or you bring them up to your feet and hold there, and a crunch, come up, stops about there, and release it down. Just make sure your shoulders come off the ground. You come up to a crunch, and you bring it back down. This is where you start, and up. You don't start with a full sit-up, you start with some crunches, and up, and hold. How you advance this along, hold a couple seconds, and then release. Or you can do a pulse, up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to and release. There's lots of things you could do with a crunch to make it more, um, make it higher intensity. So don't be upset if you can only do a crunch. It's a starting point, but mix it up, make it a little bit more difficult as you go along, and then you can get to a sit up. We're gonna show you a sit up now. So make sure your abs are nice and tight. You can cross your arms in front of you. If you decide to cross your arms in front of you, just make sure you don't do this. Using your arms for momentum. Wanna show them? So well, use your arms for momentum. You see what she's doing here? How she's bringing her arms off of her chest? That is allowing her to use more momentum than her actual abs working. If you keep your arms very close and hug yourself tightly when you come up, you're using your abs only. Come all the way up and release all the way down. All the way up. Just make sure you come up, go all the way back down. Get those shoulders back on that mat again. All the way back up and all the way back down. Again, if your neck starts to hurt, if you're doing too many, you can easily just put your arms behind your head, rest your head in your hands, and you'll be good to go.